Hello. I decided that instead of telling you guys that last episode, even though I was unsure, I actually did fight the Crimson Helm properly, I decided to show you uh, the best way I can, and that is fighting Crimson Helm again. What you're supposed to do, I just decided that I was going to do this because it'd be really helpful, and uh, from now on, I'm going to be researching uh, how to defeat bosses. I did not do it last episode because I... Uh, was kind of in the moment of the pals play so I didn't want to do it so uh, yeah I'm going to be doing extensive research on the bosses from now on alright uh, let's go ahead and fight him you are supposed to attack him and uh, by just attacking him normally that will knock the armor off and whenever he does a fire attack you want to blow it away just like we did in the actual battle uh, now if I can chase him down then I can show you guys what you're supposed to do even further. So uh, just attack him and use Fleet Foot very, uh, very uh, strategically. And when he bursts into flame, just douse the flames and continue to knock off that armor. And he will expose himself again. And you can take him out, just like I did last video. And I'm actually going to cut ahead to what the ranking is because from this point onward, it's just Susano, and I just want to show you guys the rank for doing it pretty much perfectly. I took no damage, so I will be, be right back. <laughs> okay, I failed it once, and for doing that, you get to see that his clothes are all torn to pieces. Oh, that's amazing. I should have done that in the pals play. Oh, that was good. There we go, a perfect record, and for that, you get 14,000 yen. I guess I should introduce this episode properly. Hello guys and gals, I'm Prince Vegeta, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we destroyed that weakling Crimson Helm, and this episode, we're going to be doing what a true Saiyan loves best, fighting. And that's what exactly what we're going to do. Thanks, Vegeta, for doing my intro for me. You're very welcome. Alright, uh, what we're going to be doing this episode is, I was actually mistaken, we are not going to Kamiki Village for the festival, because we have a few things to wrap up before we do so. Uh, that, that seems to be where everything's heading, so there's going to be some major story progress there. So in the meantime, before we go there, we're going to be grabbing some uh, stray beads, uh, let's see, a sun fragment, and we're going to be completing that monster list of Haruka? Yeah, Haruka. Uh, her re revenge contract. So we're going to be doing all of that this episode. So most of this episode is going to be done during nighttime because I can see buried chests. Okay, the first thing we want to do is vine on over here. And there is a... Da -da -da -da, there is a sun fragment over here. Right up here, we've been here before, uh, there's a treasure, but what we want to do is use Gale Storm, and we can jump across these wind socks. Now, it would really stink if you fell down, but I didn't. You actually don't need to do running jumps. If you just hold the control stick one direction and keep jumping, uh, you'll be fine. Okay, let me go and feed these chickens. And four praise from that. I have no idea how chickens got up here, but I won't... Well, I already did question it, so uh, I'll just keep wondering. Actually, no, sorry. Stray bead is up here. My lists are all com discombobulated. There's stray bead up on this, uh, up on these rafters, and in this treasure chest is the sun fragment that I mentioned. So it's two for the price of one, Grandma. Okay, with that, with my grandma references out of the way, uh, there's one more thing I want to do, and that is actually I should have done that when I was in the area, but all the way up, back up the hill near uh, Princess Fusei's house is another secret that we can nab. Uh, let me just run over here, keep going, keep going, and it's right over here to the right. We want to cross this bridge, which we haven't done so, done before, so I it's, uh, I'm not too sure what's over here, but there is a secret, and go and jump and vine up, and vine up. Hopefully, yes, I can do that. Even though I went through the wall, I was actually supposed to go around, but whatever. Uh, we can go up here, and there are some... What are these animals here? These are... Oh, they're monkeys, okay. 
what I was saying is monkeys actually eat seeds in addition to meat, so that's actually really useful. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Ah, it's wonderful to feel a nice breeze blowing again. And I can't tell you how happy I was to see the windmill start up. Princess Fuse is amazing, ousting that Crimson Helm brute like that. Now that Kusa, now Kusa Village can sleep easy again at last. Good. I wonder if I'll be able to spot that floating island in the sky. My grandpa said there's a pl there's a land up there called the Celestial Plain. That's where all the great gods are supposed to live. I don't know, though. It's all a bit far-fetched, if you ask me. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. This is up here, and if we run over this way... Also, this is a very thin walkway. We have... This guy, who we've seen before. Blockhead. Gaha! I am Blockhead. I guard this place so that so that all shall pass. Or, wait, I mean, none shall pass. Hey, haven't I seen you before? What are you talking about? I am the one and only Blockhead. And those who claim otherwise are in for it. What are you going to do? You can't even move. Are you trying to break through my airtight defense? Ha, huh, impossible. Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. Okay, everything that this guy said before, even though he has no memory of it. Let's go ahead and hit him. And this guy's a little bit, huh, get it harder uh, than before. He has a ton of points. Uh, there, 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 there? No. Uh, okay, he has four, not five. Okay, let me go ahead and hit him. Uh, if you fail, he'll actually spawn rocks that will hurt you, so you just want to move out of the way. Uh, let's go ahead and hit him again. It's randomized every single time. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's easy. Oh, that's super easy, buddy. One, two, three, four. Done. Huh? Okay, he, he says everything that he said before. And he's dead! Yay! Oh, no. <laughs> I kind of changed my mind there on whether I was happy or sad. And in here is a... Bullhorn. And two th two clovers, which probably each contain five preys. I cannot wait for the time in the game when they start containing more. Okay, five preys. And another five preys. Now, if you remember, we're shooting for 290 preys, because then I'll be able to upgrade my wallet and my uh, maximum health. So that's what we're shooting for. Okay, with that of out of the way, Kusa Village is done! Well, uh, first time I've fallen like that ever. Can we jump from here, please? Yes, we can. Jump. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, we did it. Okay. Uh, now that that is out of the way, uh, there's actually nothing else we can do in Kusa Village. It's n it's not 100% complete because we don't have the, uh, the last stray bead in the Gale Shrine, but we cannot get that yet, so don't worry about that. And, uh... Yeah, there's nothing left to do. Alright, let's leave. Alright, uh, first thing we want to do is once we get out in the clear, I'm going to turn it into night, because most of the stuff we are going to do be doing is going to happen during the night. Uh, everything, well, not, uh, we're going to be, um, doing the wanted monster list, like I said before. I don't know why I kind of stuttered there. Uh, we're going to be doing the wanted monster monster locations, but first I want to get out of the way a, bun a few other things. For example, this, which has been staring us in the face in a for a long time, but I just never vined up here because honestly, there's not there wasn't anything to do up here until now. What you're supposed to do is vine up to vine up to that platform up there, but if we had just obtained vine, that would have been useless. So, yeah, I waited. Because what we're supposed to do is use Gale Storm and jump, jump. Oh, running jump, really? No, okay, uh, another Gale Storm. And jump, and jump. Wow, the, that is a lot easier than I remember, seriously. I remember failing that a ton the first time I played through, the, through this game, but that is actually really easy. Man, that's cake, okay. Uh, that's it, so let's go and jump down. And the other thing is yet another sun fragment, which is over this way, near uh, Bingo, who we met before. If you remember, there were some leaves in front of him, and he was talking about a treasure. So what we want to do is, now that we have Gale Storm, anytime we see a pile of leaves, we can actually blow it away. 
And now, let's go ahead and talk to Bingo. There. This is it. The treasure revealed its hiding place. It wants to be found. I'm, I'm gonna make him sound goofy. Precious treasure, you want so much to meet me. I'm making him sound like, uh, what's his name? Dodo from Skyward Sword. Precious treasure lying hidden beneath me. I, the great Bingo, will soon set you free. Ex expert excavator, Bingo. What's his name? Oh. What do you want, Pooch? You like to dig as well, do you? I know, you could help me unearth the treasure. Dig for some treasure? Yes, I will. So this is basically the same digging minigame as before, so I'm not going to cut it out, but you guys get the gist of it so I can skip by any tutorial that appears. Those claws of yours are destined to hunt for treasure. Well, I suppose I should explain what I need you to do. The treasure is deep inside this hole. The pendulum shows where. I'm following the path that the pendulum is showing me. So if you could clear the way by digging, that would be perfect. When the pendulum swings wildly, that is where the treasure must be. Then all you need to do is dig it up. What do you say? It is quite simple, do you not think? Yes, I understand. Well, I suppose we will have to just see where your digging takes us. Let us get started. Okay. Probably one of the weirdest voices I've ever done. Uh, but I'll just look past that. Let's go ahead and dig here. Uh, power slash him, get him going the other direction. It's actually good if he kind of lags behind, because that means you can clear a path without him being in the way. Uh, let me go ahead and bloom this, and hit that, and hopefully he won't walk that way. He will. Uh, let's, no, walk that way. There we go. And let's go ahead and bloom this. No, not wind. There we go. Uh, interesting thing now is because we have Gale Storm, uh, if there is a gap that he needs to cross by qu jumping, you can actually, what you can do is you can make him leap across it with uh, Gale Storm. So that's super useful. Okay, now that I have ink, let's go ahead and do that, and hit this, and hit that, and hit do that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and circle him. And while he's doing that, uh, let's go ahead and dig up this treasure. And then let's run uh, Power Slash. Uh, basically, we do not want him to reach the bottom anymore because he will get stuck down here. So what you want to do is basically just have him go by these uh, gray rocks and he'll choose one of them to be the one that we should dig up. Uh, we're running out of time. Power Slash. Uh, oh, this is kind of bad. I'm going to have to have him jump that. Uh, let's go ahead and use Bloom here. Oh, no, 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 this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, no, oh, no, I failed it. Wait, okay, this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Div, give me time. Okay, okay, you, 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 no, 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 Stay where you are, okay, good. Gale Storm, oh, my word, that was close. Circle him. Uh, oh, are we supposed to have him on the bottom? Uh, this is bad, this is bad. This is the opposite of good. Uh, Power Slash hit. Oh, no. We were supposed to have him on the bottom. I mislead, misled you guys. No. Yes, I'll retry. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, I believe we're supposed to instead get him all the way to the right, because I saw a bigger area of flat ground over there, so let's go ahead and try and shoot for that. Actually, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, up here? Yes! Oh, I'm guessing we actually need to send him up to examine every single black rock we see, which is arguably dumb. Actually, it's not even arguably dumb. It's just dumb. Okay, let's go ahead and use a uh, water spout. Bring him up. Uh, bring him up. There we go. And have him examine this. If I can get up to... Okay, uh... That's not the one. Let's go ahead and power slash this. And then, once he gets over here... Get over here, buddy. I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to use Gale Storm. Launch him across there. Examine this. No? Okay. Uh, I'm out of ink. Snap. Actually, you... Oh, I can't use an infinity stone. Oh, that's bad. Give me my ink. Give it to me. There we go. Power slash. 
hit. Uh, I'm just going to try and bring him... Ah, I'm not sure what to do. I know he's, we're supposed to examine the black rocks, but I'm not sure which one. Uh, let's go and circle him, make him run faster. Go up there, go up there, and shoot him upward. Uh, hopefully there is some time for us somewhere near here. There is. Okay, give me some time. This is not the one. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do this. And come here, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. This is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. Bad. Give me ink. Give me ink. Okay. Power slash. Circle. Uh, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. Wind. Oh, no. I failed again. Finally! Gah! That probably took half an hour! Ah! So what you're supposed to do is bring him to the bottom right corner of the whole map, and it's not even on the black stones! I did so many tries on that that I don't care that I'm skipping past the text. You guys can read it for yourselves by pausing the video. But as for me, I just want to Kamehameha my Wii and the Okami disc and end the video right now. But I'm not going to because we have more to do. <sighs> Me ha me ha Ugh. Okay. Now that my voice is shot from yelling at the screen. Okay. Huh. Let's go ahead and commence with the whatchamacallit. You, you know what I'm talking about. The uh the demon scrolls, okay. Uh, starting from the left to the right, or rather the west to the east, uh, you want to start with this one. And I'm going to be showing these because I want to show off the dreadful power of the Infinity Judge. We experienced it with some of the enemies, but let's do it with some of the enemies that um, we've faced before. So, uh, let's do this. Uh, starting with the dead fish, you just want to use Gale Storm with our new technique. It'll bring it to the ground, and we can hopefully bring it to the ground. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's about to die. Let's go and power slash it. Maybe it wasn't as powerful as I thought. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, we still get the, po the finisher. Sweet. I didn't even realize that. Curse Gale, the repulsive defeated. Okay, uh... Man, I, th I'm actually getting some money that I could have used. I didn't get, get, give him a floral venture. Okay, uh, rating, and let's go ahead and cross out another uh, one of the things on the list. Oh my word, that thing was just painful. That was a monster from the revenge contract. Yes, it was, and we just happened to find it. Yes, because I have a guide. Uh, repulsive. Done. Okay, uh, next one. I wish that you wouldn't say these every time. Yes, she'll give us a reward. I wonder what she will give us. Okay, the next one is uh, over the bridge. Uh, I'm just showing this on the map so that you guys can see uh, where we got this one. The next one is all the way down the path. Just want to keep running until you uh, get past the bridge. The cool thing about this is that this is the easiest revenge contract we've had to do thus far because... The other ones, we didn't have uh, Moonrise, or it's actually not called Moonrise, it's called Crescent Moon, but I keep calling it Moonrise for some reason. Okay, so this one is right over here, right to the left of the bridge, and here we are. This one is... dun da 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 Red Devil the Detested. Okay, uh, this one should be easy as ever. Let's just go ahead and use a Power Slash, bring it to the ground. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. I'm gonna get his floral finisher. 
One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And he's dead, even though he tried to suicide bomb us. And we got a bunch of floral finishers. I'm doing this partially to farm. I mean, I'm, I killed this guy first just because I'm, I'm trying to farm. Okay, uh, I'm going to start cutting out these battles from now on because my anger is now gone. It's actually not gone. But the anger that I, I held against those, uh, de against the, uh, digging challenge is becoming a, an unpleasant memory, but it's still, it's at least a memory. Okay, uh, this one was Red Devil the Detested, so we're actually starting from the bottom, it seems. So I guess I should have started literally from the top, but, yeah, it's fine. Okay, the next one... Uh, if we look at our map, this is where the second one is, the one that we just got. Um, Quote-unquote, the closest one is all the way uh, up on the lower right of the map, where uh, you have to go through the part where we fought Waka that one time. Also, I need to change it back to nighttime. So, that one is the, it's the closest as the crow flies, but I'm going to be getting that one last just because it's so far away. So, uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one that I'm going to get, which is actually next to the entrance of the, uh, of the area where we fought Waka. It's right over here. Just need to follow the path. I'll, most of these actually, you know what? No. All of these are next to the path, so it's actually very easy. You just need to run along the path. Uh, is this guy the one... Uh, yes, this is the one. So look at, at the map right here is the next one. So let me go ahead and cut this out after I see the name of this guy, which is Deathfin the Repugnant Appeared. Ah, okay, uh, let's go ahead and defeat him and I'll meet you guys back in a second. Okay, Deathfin the Repugnant, a Repugnant has been logged. Uh, the next one, actually I'm going to get the one up there last. So the next one is is it's one of these two let me look at my guide again my guide isn't really a guide uh, as it's actually more of a map uh it's actually neither of these it is up so turn around go up and it is also uh, let me go and take care of this we can now use gale storm on these leaves and get a treasure chest which is very very poorly buried which c and it contains lacquerware neato bandito Okay, the next one is over here. Yes, here. And let's go ahead and defeat that. After I say the name. Oh, and actually, I actually want to show this battle now that I remember. Uh, weirdo, they're abhorrent. Okay, the, what I want to do is I actually want to show off our sub-rosary. Uh, this one, oh, wow, it killed him in one hit. This one, first of all, it's super powerful. But second of all... It actually doesn't fire uh, like all the others. Also, power slash it down. It doesn't fire like all the others, and, and th what I'm talking about is in a machine gun fashion. What it actually does... Uh, oh, he hit me. Snap. Okay, um, what it actually does is it shoots like sort of like a shotgun. It has a spread shot. So it's actually, in my opinion, not as good as the others, because if you look at it, it, it shoots spread shot. But it's not horrible, so I, d but I just typically don't like using this kind of rosary as a reflector because, I mean, as a sub, because it's just not as good. Alright, uh, le let me go ahead and uh, sign this off. Alright, and the last thing we have to get is up here by n n where we fought Waka. And I'm actually going to cut up here because uh, this is kind of a long walk, so I'll meet you guys up, up on top. Uh, on the way, I remembered that there are these burning chests which we never, uh, collected. So let me- or at least one burning chest. So let me go ahead and collect what's in that if I can break open the chest. Thank you. We <laughs> kept missing. Uh, and we got crystal, which is neat. Um, but the next one, and there's a burning chest here too. You can actually trick this out, kind of. It's a little bit hard, but if you turn the camera just right. Camera. Work with me. Camera. Thank you. Camera. Thank you. Uh, you can trick it out very, very gimmicky. Okay, uh, let me try this. Okay, okay, I got it. See this? There's the water on one, one side of the camera and the chest on the other. So, water, chest. No. Oh, wait, derp. Duh. Sorry. I know you can trick it out like that, but duh, I, I just remembered. Uh... Gale Storm. There we go. I remember, because, uh, 
Nova set my tail on fire. And inside this is a stray bead. And I'm not sure where this puts us in the uh, stray bead count for uh, Taka Pass, but we're we're up there. I actually don't actually have my stray beads guide with me right now. I usually do when I record, but that's kind of upsetting because I don't actually know where it is. Okay, let me turn it to night, and then uh, we can get the last uh, contract on our list. Okay, and before we get started with the Demon Scroll, there is a pile of leaves right here and a buried chest underneath. So let's go ahead and dig that up. And it is an incense burner. Kind of neat. I mean, it's a sellable, and I'm never going to turn down a sellable. Okay, the last location is actually right here. And this is the Demon Scroll we have to uh, nab. So let's go ahead and do that. Bulging eyes, the despised appeared. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and cut to after I defeat this guy. And the last monster is defeated. Even though he killed himself, we'll just cross it out because technically we caused him to commit suicide. So, well, what do you know? You've taken care of all the, all the names on the revenge contract. Won't that girl be happy to hear this? She might even give you a reward. <laughs> uh, Isun, you need to stop being so shameless. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut over there, so I will be right back. Alright, let's go uh, not to Haruka. Uh, there's a stray bead that I missed over this way, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And you're probably wondering, Paladin, uh, why did you cut there when you just moved like 20 feet away? Uh, it, I, I had to do some things off screen because of how stinking long that uh, digging game lasted. I had to do a bunch of stuff off screen. Oh my word. You guys would not believe all the t stuff I had to do off screen. Well, um, let me explain it. Uh, it was late, so I actually had to sleep. Yeah, so I did that off screen. I slept through the night, and then I had a good breakfast in the morning after having a very good night's sleep. And then I had to go to school, do well at school, and then have dinner after watching... What did I watch? Oh yeah, some of my some channels that I routine, routinely watch. And then, uh... Yeah, I then I could record this game uh, again because, or I could record the same episode again. So yeah, a lot happened off screen, man. Super important that I got that done, or else I would be a zombie right now. Okay. Uh. Anyway, the stray bead to which I was referring to earlier is right next to the Mermaid Spring. Let's go ahead and use Gale Storm on this pile of leaves and dig up this chest. And there we go. A stray bead, number like 32 or something. Uh, if you look on the map, this is where it is for those of you playing along. And for those of you especially playing along years after I make this, because I'm making this so it's enjoyable to w complete the game 100% without actually having to watch through the entire LP to actually find the one stray bead that you've been trying to find a long time. Uh, <laughs> that, was a, that was kind of a, a tangent. If you throw a mermaid coin to the water, a path will open up. And if you jump in, you'll be whisked away to another spring. Mermaid springs are like a path to far-off loved ones. Oh, well, er, um, never mind. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, that, that was a little bit of a tangent I got on. I, I think it, it stemmed from, um, me writing the article on myself in the Let's Play Wiki. I actually joined the Let's Play Wiki just to, uh, correct some of the stuff that I saw that was wrong in some of my favorite LPers pages, and then, um, mine. M the main problem with my page, <laughs> MySpace, with my page was that, uh, it, it didn't exist, so I actually had to create it from scratch, so, yeah. That, that's kind of why I went on that whole description thing, because I, uh, made my page again. The last time I updated it was actually, um, in, Sk in times of Skyward Sword, so it was super outdated, so I, I decided to update that. Also, update my listing in the list of all Let's Players. But anyway, that's stuff that doesn't have to do with this game, necessarily. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Haruka before I get on another yet another ch tangent. Okay. I sort of forgive you for stuffing that bear, but still. It was a person, too. Okay, let's go ahead and go upstairs and... Destroy this wall again. Really, they should make a door. Also, get a ton of oranges and talk to Haruka. There's my little warrior. I'm so happy to see you're okay. You showed Haruka's revenge contract. No way! All my enemies' names have been crossed out. 
Come to think of it, I've been feeling more upbeat lately. You, uh, you've really exacted revenge on all my enemies? Words can't explain how happy I am. I promised you a reward, but this is really all I have. You obtained gold dust. Sorry, I can't offer you anything else for your, all your hard work. But my father treasured that, and I hope you will too. Thank you. And goodbye. Actually, I want to talk to you again. Uh, she says the same thing. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, go on journey to hone her skills too. I think we'd, we'd all live a bit longer if you just stayed here. Uh, truly. Just, actually, no. Forget this nasty inn. Go over to, uh, Sasa Sanctuary. That place is nice. Alright, um... There's actually one more thing I'd like to do in this video, and by one more thing, I mean a couple more things. So, the things I would like to do is, because we have, or are rather, uh, are because we have Gale Storm, uh, I'd like to go back through Okta Forest and Shinshu Field to blow away all of those piles of leaves that we've seen thus far, and we've seen at least two. I know there are two near the dojo and there's actually one more than I'll, now that i think of it next to uh thomas house so i would like to go check out those i don't think there are any in uh octa forest in fact i'm fairly positive but i'll run in there anyways so uh let's go ahead and go there Alrighty then back to the areas that we visited before we got gale storm uh the first one actually i can feed these bunnies so i'm going to go ahead and do that first all right, uh, now that we have the four praise, let's go ahead and blow away this pile. And underneath is a chest. What does that chest contain? After I miss it, it contains a holy bone M. Nice. Actually, I actually uh, could have used that. That's good. I can feed these birds, but they flew away except this one. It's, oh, there is a pile of leaves over here. I remember. Okay. So this actually wasn't a waste of time. Okay, let's go ahead and dig this up, and very poorly buried chest. And this contains Exorcism Slip M. Actually, that's that's really good too. I'm a big fan of Exorcism Slips, just because um, they tend to stun enemies who can make themselves invincible. Also, he does deserve an, a reward, and I think that he should find a new sphere to jump on. And that is this one. Jump on it, buddy. Jump on it. Jump on it. No, okay. Goodbye. What was I saying? I forgot what I was saying, but it probably wasn't that important. Uh, I, I, uh, my attention span is, isn't that long. Okay, let's go ahead and swim through here. Abadiugan, and swim over here. Remember, if you mash the A button, you can swim faster. Whoa. Whoa. Looks like it could start pouring at any moment. We might even be in for a storm. Hmm. If you remember, Hayabusa did say that there's going to be some sort of evil on the night of the festival, so... I guess this is, uh, the calm before the storm. And if the calm is this bad, oh man. People better run when the storm starts. Well, we're almost to Kamiki. Hopefully... They shouldn't have to wait much longer. And also, doing this will delay it. Maybe. Huh? Why is it so dark? The sun's out, isn't it? Oh. So it seems like tonight is, in is inevitable. There's definitely something in the air. Well, like I said, we're, we're almost back to Kamiki, so... They shouldn't have to wait long. Okay, let's go and dig this up. And get a bullhorn. Nice. And I know for a fact where the last uh, pile of leaves is, and that is over by the dojo. Plus, I think I should check in to see uh, how the sensei is doing, seeing if, uh, to see if he has any new techniques. So, let's go. Okay, uh, he's this way. And I failed. Okay, wonderful. Now, actually, before we go into Kamiki Village, I will want to make some preparations, and I think that it'd be wise for me to show those preparations on screen instead of simply telling you guys what I did. So uh, I will do that after I talk to uh, the sensei guy, just to make sure. Onigiri, that's his name. Okay, uh, there is a pile of leaves over here, and if I remember right, yes, it is flaming, which seems like overkill to me.
That's what I call a full moon. Come to think of it, doesn't the Kamiki Festival fall on a full moon this time of year? Oh no, they're going to finish off all the sake if we don't hurry. Come on, Ami. Get the lead out. Get the lead out. Okay. We're almost there. I just want to make a couple preparations before we head in. This is an area that you do not want to go in ill-prepared. I know we've been Kamiki before, but trust me, there's some serious, serious uh, mumbo-jumbo that goes on in there. So you want to be super prepared. And a godly charm is part of that. Okay, any more le pile of leaves? No, okay. I think we're good. Where I want to go first is over by this merchant, over by the uh, guardian sapling. And I actually want to use up a lot of my money. Even though I, I have talked about saving for most of the LP, I would like to uh, use a lot of my money buying stuff to prepare for this. Okay. I'm looking forward to the fireworks display, personally. But the weather's not looking too promising. I hope it doesn't Im impact too badly on sales. You haven't been asked to buy any festival things, have you, Pooch? Do some shopping? Yes. Okay, let's start off by selling off all our treasure, which we have a lot, so uh, I'm pretty confident. Oh yeah, we have 74,000 yen, okay. Uh, I will spare no expense on this. Uh, we don't need mermaid coins, what am I thinking? Ah, vengeance slip. I'll hold off on that till later, because I, I may want to spend my money on other things besides that. So, uh, exorcism slip S, ew, that's disgusting. Don't need that. Uh, this is a horrible shop. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to bring my business elsewhere. Before we end off the video, I just want to make sure you guys uh, can see what I'm buying. So, I'm going to go and cut over to the nearest merchant I can find that has actually good stuff. So, I will be right back. Uh, I need a mermaid spring, uh, which is over here. Actually, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'll use I'll use my mermaid coin. So I'll cut over to the uh, demon fang dealer first, and then I will uh, go to an actual shop. Come on, Ami. We got to get back before the Kamiki Festival's over. They're gonna finish off all the sake if we don't hurry. It seems like we cannot warp out. Oh, and it gave us our our mermaid coin back. Good. Okay, so we're going to have to go to uh, this manually. So I'll meet you over by uh, the the uh, Demon Fang merchant. Hopefully he's available so I can get actually get to him. So I'll meet you there. Come on, Ami. we got to get back before the festival's over. They're going to finish off all the sake if we don't hurry. Oh boy, that was a very poor decision on my part. Oh no. Okay, well, it seems like we cannot act uh we cannot access any shops besides maybe the one in Kamiki Village, though I'm not thinking that one will uh prove too fruitful because I don't think it would have much stuff in it. So, with that out of the way, uh, I'm just going to have to go over to the shop over here. I'm going to have to settle for that. Okay. Th there's going to be some serious stuff going down in Kamiki Village, like I already said. So you do want to be well prepared. If you guys are playing along, uh, do not be dumb and come here like I did, blindly, without actually buying stuff first. Be wise. Uh, don't be like me. Okay, let me go and buy some stuff. Let's see. Buy. Let's... No, we don't need feedbacks. Uh, let's go ahead and grab two vengeance slips, actually. Uh, that'll be good. And I'll grab... We have enough... We have enough steel sakes. Actually, I could buy two more of these, just so I have five. And then, holy bones, I'll buy three. Uh, ju I'm just not going to spend that much money in the hopes that we can get to uh, some better items in the Kamiki Village shop. But I'm not I'm not crossing my fingers on that one. Okay. In between, well, actually, in the end slate, I'm going to actually fight some enemies and raise my godhood up to max. I know that's kind of cheap. But I think it's it's something that I'm willing to do, considering the fact that I actually didn't go to any shops. I cannot access any good shops, possibly. So, I'm actually going to equip the Life Beads as my main. I know the Infinity Judge hasn't gotten that much screen time. It's gotten only a couple of episodes. But the uh, Life Beads has gotten even less. 
have gotten even less. So, that out of the way, life beads are our s main, and the Infinity Judge is our sub. They're both fully upgraded. Now, in the end slate, I'm going to go get some Godhood. Okay, next time in, in Okami, we're going to go into Kamiki Village and see what uh, everything's about, what all the fuss is about. And uh, I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. This one is two. And uh, if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, still comment. Tell me how I could make it so you would like it. Okay, like I said, next time... Uh, it's coming down to the wire, guys. See you guys next time.